Good evening, guys. How are you? Can you hear me? Good evening, yes, miss. Okay, thank you. I have forgotten to put my earphones. <laughs> I saw somebody wrote on the group chat right now. It says good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. All right. So we're gonna start with a random conversation question, remember. And this one is very easy because you're gonna talk about something that you know already. The question is, what was the last show you watched and what was it about? Which was the last show you watched and what was it about? In my case, the last TV show that I watched, let me think, oh, I remember. The last TV show I watched was, um, it was a remake or a reboot about a 90s TV show. Do you remember there was a, a TV show in the 90s? The name was Fuller, uh, Full House. That was the name of the TV show in the 90s, Full House. Well, turns out that yeah. in that, okay, I when remember. They, all right, so that show is from the 90s. And last, like last year, I think Netflix created the reboot or the modern version. And now the name is Fuller House. So that is the name of the TV show. That's the last TV show that I watched. And it was about the daughters of the one of the protagonists from the first show. And one of them is a widow, Buda. So one of them is a widow. So her friends move in with her and they help her raise her kids. And it's a pretty, it's a pretty funny TV show. So I want to know which is the last TV show you watch and what was it about? Let me hear you guys. Let's see your hands. Do we have volunteers who wanted to talk about the last TV show that you watched? Um, me teacher. Okay. Uh, currently, I I am watching two, two series. Okay. At uh, the same two, time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, one of these uh, is um, uh, Jeffrey Dahmer. In oh Netflix. no! You are watching that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I like I like uh, that Crime. kind of thing. <laughs> Crime TV yes. shows. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yes, and the other one is Adorama. I don't know if you know about the Koreans. Yeah, and I, I, I really like this these dramas. And it, the the name is the love is like the cha cha cha. Hey, and that's it's cool. very, yes, it's very funny and and it's about a. a a dentist mm -hmm. and she lives uh, she moves to another country in Korea and and always uh, she meets uh, a boy and he fall in love and <laughs> and that and that yeah the, the typical same. K drama <laughs> yes yes and the Jeffrey Damier but uh, well I think that all you know all all of you knows what yeah. about it <laughs> We yeah. wish we didn't know, but we do. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So. Thank you for sharing, Christia. That was really Thank good. You. Thank you. All right. Let me hear the next person who wants to talk about which was the last TV show you watched. Let's see. Hey, me, teacher. Okay. Let me hear. <laughs> the last show that watching was um, Dancing for a Dreams. Okay. from El Salvador. Um, Interesting. I, I remember it was uh, about the some parangla uh, people in El okay. Salvador, mm -hmm. uh, where uh, were dancing um, in this case for um, a cows the other person okay and help they help uh, to win the is a is like a, a concurso contest contest 
and I remember uh, was participating Cocolito, Roberto Bundio, uh -huh. and, and others, other famous people in El Salvador. Uh, let's see. And who won? Has it finished and, yet or not? Yes, yes. Uh, I don't remember in in where uh, year it was, but and I don't remember who, who <laughs> <laughs> right All now. Right. All right, thank you for sharing one. That was very interesting. Okay, okay, let me hear somebody else. What was the last TV show that you watched and what was it about? Wendy, please. In my case, I remember Master Chef Big Old Spain. Okay. Salvadorian. Salvadorian is mm -hmm. terrible. Yeah, no, it was horrible. Spain. <laughs> A terrible, uh, bad. The mm -hmm. teachers. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Terrible. Uh, ugly for me. <laughs> but but, uh, but Spain, uh, the chef, per Bird, probably with with other person or the other participant in a street. The okay. teachers very street, but very lovely, lovely, All right? Good person with participate. And is that the first season, Wendy, or what season are you watching? What? Is that the first season? La primera uh, temporada. Is that the first season or the second uh, season of the show? I don't remember. Uh, kids, kids and other person. No. All right. right. Okay. So it's probably first the first season. one. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Cool, Wendy. Really. That's a great show. Yeah. It's actually pretty, pretty entertaining watching other people cook, yeah. and it's yes. not you. <laughs> and, and I, I, I don't, I don't, don't, don't cook. Mm. <laughs> but All right. But, but I, you like I, to see people I see, cooking. <laughs> I see other ingredients or other process. Mm -hmm. Other, I, I, I remember. I, Ah, aprender, I, I learn. Learning. I'm I learning. Learn. Uh, as I know. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Wendy. Thank you for sharing. All right, let's see who else. I want to hear you guys. What was the last TV show that you watched? And what was it about? Manuel? What was the last TV show that you watched? Uh, teacher, um, I don't know. Uh, uh, I prefer to <laughs> I prefer to sleep. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> really? really, but uh, I Or like did you watch a movie? Other, uh, yeah, movies or cartoons. All right. Which was the movies, last one that you watched? Uh, movies, movies uh 16, 7, 17. Oh, all these but goodies. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I like I like to, to see uh, Bob Esponja. SpongeBob. SpongeBob, yes. Yeah. SpongeBob <laughs> was good. The first two seasons were good. After that, yes. not but, anymore. <laughs> uh, Netflix, when Netflix uh, allowed to to share uh, other counts in mm -hmm. different. Uh, TV or, mm -hmm. uh, or cell phone. Mm -hmm. uh, I I was <laughs> I was, but my error was uh, uh, not not to change uh, the, the the languages. Oh. I, I I would like to to see in 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 English. I don't know. You English. should be watching in English, Manuel. <laughs> yeah, but, but today. Uh, Netflix. Uh, it's all Spanish stop. for you. Yes, and stop the sharing the, the, the account. Uh, mm -hmm. That's why yeah. I I haven't I, watched I haven't anything. <laughs> but I, all right. Uh, today 
I was uh, uh, watching mm -hmm. uh, cartoons from MGM. Nice, you see. <laughs> uh, and when I when I, I I wanted to to change the in settings uh, mm -hmm. of language, there's no there's no answer. There's no uh, option. <laughs> There's no option. Oh, I, I don't have. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, one. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. All right. Is there anyone? Is there anybody else that wants to share what was the last TV show that you watched and what was it about? Thank you for sharing, Manuel. For me, teacher. Okay, Manuel. I I saw the series. Stranger Things. Oh, everybody's watching that. <laughs> I, I think it's good, but but so so unrealistic. <laughs> That's the or, point of the or, series. <laughs> or unrealistic. Unrealistic. Mm -hmm. unrealistic. Mm -hmm. But okay. I think that was good. Right now I'm watching. Sandman. Oh, that's a good one. My best friend is watching that one also. She says it's good. Yes, cool. Definitely. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Jorge. Tatiana, please. Hello, teacher. Hi. I, I'm watching right now. Well, these days I have been watching a Jeffrey Dahmer series. <laughs> Another lady watching Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah. You see, we I are almost prepared. Think Women prefer this is this is science, guys. Women prefer to watch criminal series. <laughs> yes, but before mm -hmm. that, I saw the uh, the doc documental about mm -hmm. documentary. About this guy, yes, and now I'm watching the 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 TV series, and uh, it's okay. And I and I I watch two Stranger Things. I like that that uh, series 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 mm -hmm. series yes and i like nice thank you for sharing Tatiana. thank you guys for sharing what you're watching right now you're giving me ideas what to watch next <laughs> all right so just as a review remember last night we were talking about indefinite pronouns right so we're just gonna refresh the memory right now with that um, we have 16 people, so we're just going to review this. And after we review this topic, we will have the groups, the groups that they didn't um, present last night. You can still present right now. Um, let me just tell you. We had one, two, three, four groups pending last night. So if you need like a few minutes tonight, just to remember what you were going to say last night, I will give them to you, okay? Yes, Jorge? Yes, teacher. All right, you will need the time. <laughs> yes, a couple of minutes. Perfect. Please. I will give it to you guys in a few moments. Manuel? Teacher, uh, yes? yesterday uh, I don't understand. I... You were in room three, Manuel, yesterday with Maria Concepcion, right? Yes, yes, but... Uh, or, or conversation, uh, I don't know. Uh, it was uh, about uh, um, a different topic. Uh, comparing the the presentation. Uh, oh, with the, the other, uh, the one that we saw in the first group. <laughs> yes, I, I hear. Uh, I hear after. Uh, about the second about the second question mm -hmm. okay but, <laughs> no but if you made it about the second question it's not a problem that's good as long as ah, you okay. present, yes not a problem thank you for letting me know okay before we move forward <laughs> thank you Manet. remember we have singular pronouns and we have plural pronouns yesterday we were seeing some of the singulars right so right now we're going to review some of the plural ones, okay? So we're gonna do exactly that we were doing last night. We are going to read one, the meaning and example, and then we do our own sentences, okay? So we're gonna, be, we're, we're gonna go three and three, 
So I'm gonna need three volunteers right now to read the first three ones, please. So raise your hand so you can read. Manuel, help me with the number number first. <laughs> with the first one, which is both. Jorge, help me with few. And Cristia, help me with fewer, please. Let's begin, Manuel. Okay, both. Two people or things sing together. Example, John likes coffee, but not tea. I think both are good. Yes, both, it's equivalent to say ambos in Spanish, right? Two things or two people sing together, ambos, both, okay? Then we have a few, hot hit, please. Few. A small number of people or things. Few have ever disobeyed him and lived. Thank you. So few, it's a small amount. Usually, right? It says a small number of people or things. Saying pocos, right? right. And Christian, please. Fewer. A reduced number of people or, or things. Fewer are smoking these days. Yes. Okay, fewer will be the equivalent to menos, all right? Fewer would be como menos. Are in talking about quantity, right? For example, fewer are smoking. Menos personas están fumando, right? Fewer, menos personas están fumando. Eso días, right? So fewer, a reduced number of, of people or things. Few, it's pocos, unos pocos. And then fewer, menos, all right? So we're gonna make three sentences. You have to make one sentence with both, one with few and one with fewer. I'm gonna give you three minutes. So we're gonna start at four minutes. We can start at 8.22. Manuel? Yes, teacher. Have you finished? Yes. Oh, all right. You can start. Okay. But my brother prefer plays football than basketball. I, I like 
to play both. Both. Uh -huh. Both. Uh -huh. The boss came a few minutes later. Fewer students passed the exam. Very good, Manuel. You did great sentences. Thank you. Christy, please. For the first one, uh, I wrote, I want both flavor in my ice cream. Perfect. <laughs> If the second one, the food will be ready in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. And the third one, I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> you can keep working on that one. Thank you. Wendy, okay. please. My father and my mother are a little hungry. <laughs> Both are a little hungry. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Next. I have few books. Mm -hmm. Fewer, fever, come, fever. Fewer, uh -huh. fewer. Fewer, fewer people give target of paper. Very good. Wendy, those are good sentences. Thank you for sharing. Okay, who else has finished already their sentences? Tatiana, please. Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, I like both pairs of shoes. Good. Uh, the second one is I saw him a few minutes ago. All right. And the third one is few, few, uh, fewer. I can't pronounce that. Fewer. Uh -huh. Fewer. <laughs> Friends are here. Very good. Tatiana, those were nice sentences. Thank you for sharing. Ana Raquel, please. My mother bought two dresses for a uh, boat are cute. Nice. A few friends uh, went to a party. All right. And in the world, there are fewer forests. Perfect, Forest. Anna, very good. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your sentences. All right, let's see. Do we have somebody else that has finished already and wants to share? Me, hey, teacher, but I'm not sure. Okay, let's hear. I like the car of Miguel and the car of Pedro. Both are amazing. That is correct. You used it correctly. Mm -hmm. I have few memories about my aunt. Okay. Uh, my sister had fewer opportunities than me. Correct. You can also use it as a comparative. Very good, Jorge. Yes, they are correct. Thank you for sharing. All right, so we're going to move on with the next three ones. We have many, others, and several. Okay, we're still talking indefinite pronouns. So we're going to read those three. I need three volunteers to read, please. Remember one each. You read the pronoun, the meaning, and the example. Volunteers for reading? Juan de Dios, help me with the first one, many. And then Claudia, help me with others, please. And Tatiana, help me with several, please. Teacher, I think Claudia was first than me. Oh, okay. Claudia, do you want to uh, read several? Okay, thank you. Let's begin. Many, a large number of people. Many have come already. Very good, thank you. Others? Others, other people, us. I'm sure that others have tried before us. Thank you, and you also have several, Claudia. <laughs> okay, <laughs> several. More than two, but not many. They all complained and Sarah left the meeting. Very good, thank you. So many, when we're talking about a large number of people or things or animals, right? Many, meaning muchos, all right? Um, others, right? This is literally referring to other people, not you, not us, not the ones in the conversation. Others mean otros, otras personas, right? Not the ones in the actual conversation. And then several means more than two, 
pero no tantos como many. Que many is a lot of people. Several es el equivalente a varios. Okay? Varios. Más de, más de dos personas, pero no llegan a ser muchos, right? So es como varios. Okay? So we have many, others, and several. Um, I'll give you three minutes to create one sentence for each, please. We can start at 29. Okay, if you have your sentences ready, let me know so we can begin hearing you. Manuel, please. Many. Uh, there are many sentences in the paragraph. I mm -hmm. have family, but others have not. Okay. The, the car has several damage for the crash. Okay. One important point, Manuel, cuando usamos many y several, we are talking in plural. ¿Qué les dije que había que agregar siempre? Siempre suena cuando hablamos en plural. La S. S. Por ejemplo, several damages. Okay, several damages. En vez de several damage, several damages. Many, many sentences. En vez de many sentences, many sentences. Uh, okay. Sí, sí tiene. Lo que pasa es que no lo conocía. <laughs> exactly. Porque no estamos acostumbrados. En realidad no es que, o sea, es, es normal que si nos, si nos lo omitamos. Pero es por okay. eso se lo repito, para que se refresque en la memoria. Cuando hablamos en plurales, yeah. suena la S. Yes. Very good, Manuel. Thank you for sharing. Cristia, please. Uh, many people run in the morning. Mm -hmm. I think that other person want to learn English. 
Okay. And I have several issues for resolve. Okay. When you use others con S, ya no necesita decir people. Ya se refiere a people. Ah, okay. Others con S, ya está diciendo people. Ahora, si dice other people, no le pone la S a la palabra other. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Other than that, very good, Cristian. Thank you for sharing. Claudia, please. Many people can speak more than two languages. And segunda, many things happen. No, I think I'm going to go. The first one was many. 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 The second one was with others. Others. Ay, no, eso no le he hecho. <laughs> ok. ¿En serio? Solo la tercera que. He sent me several letters since he gone. Since he's gone. All right. Very good. Now, remember, um, others es plural para personas, otros, ¿verdad? O dependiendo de qué tema esté hablando, le puedo usar para cosas también o animales. Si se acuerdan, cuando vamos a hablar sobre uno más o uno extra, o decir otro, ocupamos another, la versión singular. ¿Ok? Para la versión plural, entonces sería others, que es el que estamos usando ahorita. Y les decía, cuando dicen others, ya no necesitan repetir el, el noun. No van a decir others people. Mm -mm. Pueden decir other people, pero others ya están diciendo. Ok. Let's hear another case. Um, yesterday we played many sports. All right. I had to go with other people to the concert. Mm -hmm. uh, several years, I don't see you. <laughs> Very good, Anna. Thank you. Um, Jorge, please. Um, there are many people in the line. I don't like this restaurant. There are others near my house. Very good. Mm -hmm. The rainbow has several colors. Very good. That is correct. Thank you, Jorge. Wendy, please. Okay. I have many customers. Okay. I am very nervous. Other people not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He has several friends. Very good. Wendy, those sentences were correct. Thank you. So just remember, guys, si vamos a hablar en plural extras, decimos others, otros, otras. Y cuando le ponemos la S, no necesito repetir de qué estoy hablando. Idealmente ya se dijo antes, ¿ok? Pero si no quiero, voy, quiero repetir el noun, le quito la S. Other people, other friend, right? Anything like that. Uh, do we have anyone else with the sentences? Yes, no. Okay, so right now we're gonna stop in this ones and we will continue seeing the singular, the ones that can be singular and plural. We will see those tomorrow, okay? So right now I'm gonna give you five minutes just for you to refresh what you were seeing yesterday. Um, aunque idealmente, we're gonna, we're gonna do something. We're, no les puedo ingresar a las salas ahorita para refrescar el tema de ayer porque ya no van a quedar iguales <laughs> no van a quedar iguales con los que estaban ayer así que we're going to do a different activity ok in this case you're going to create a conversation it can be a random topic ustedes escogen el tema the requirement is that you include indefinite pronouns in the conversation ok they can be singular the ones we saw yesterday or they can be plurals from the one we just saw right now ok now, please, I'm going to give you 10 minutes and then we will check if you have finished or not. But when you finish, do not do not give me a two sentences type of conversation. Hi, how are you? Good. Bye bye. No, please, please be serious. Create, <laughs> create good conversations. <laughs> Take the time and create good conversations. OK, I'm going to give you 10 minutes to begin and then we can discuss if you will use more time. Remember, it can be a random topic. Puede ser, tema, puede ser tema al azar. Ustedes lo escogen. Be sure to include indefinite pronouns. Singulars and plurals. Okay? Everybody has to participate. It's a conversation. All right? 
The rooms are open. You can enter the rooms right now. And you will have 10 minutes. Olga, are you going to enter into the room? Jorge is waiting for you.
teacher, we need more time. <laughs> That's what I was about to ask you guys. All right, I'm gonna open the rooms right now. You can go back and you'll have five more minutes, okay? Yes. Teacher, no puede meterme, sorry. Um, déjeme ahorita lo agrego, Manuel. Lo voy a mover el, a, a otra sala, pero no, no, no acepté todavía, Manuel, ya le voy a avisar. En el 2 está usted, ¿verdad? Sí, contacto. Ahora, ya. Me puede enviar la invitación a mí también. Yes. En la sala 5 estaba, ¿verdad? 5, sí. Vaya, déjeme, le voy a mover a la 4, no lo acepté todavía, pero... Ahora sí, ya están las 5. Silvia, ¿qué pasó? Ya regresamos a los, a los grupos. Sí, sí, ahorita regresaron. Les di cinco minutos. Teacher, más. Yo sigo aquí, pero no. ¿Perdón? Ok. Eh, la muevo. Okay. La, la, ¿Tiene para ingresar ahí, Silvia? No, no okay. me sale. Vaya, permítame. Todavía no lo acepté, ya le voy a avisar. Ahora. Ok.
Okay, now that we are back, let's begin. We're gonna begin with room number one. We had Norma, Carolina, Silvia, Suleima, and Wendy Maribel. We are listening to you, ladies. Okay. Um, I have many ideas for start a new business. You are going to use digital media or publicity in paper or both. If you use social media, you can reach as many people and spend few money for advertising. Uh, I think that is necessary to have several options. I can create a plan for you to be different from others' competitors. Thanks. <laughs> that was a very short conversation, ladies. I expected more from you. <laughs> it has to be a longer conversation. But thank you for the effort. Just some points. Um, dos puntos, dos observaciones. Few, few money. I, on, una se dijo few money. Few se ocupa con countable nouns. Few es para cosas que se pueden contar, right? Um, few, en este caso, si nos referimos a money, money no es contable. La palabra dinero no es contable, ¿ok? El dinero es contable, pero la palabra dinero es no contable. Entonces, si quiero decir poco dinero, digo little money, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. And you will only spend little money, for example, right? In coins. Coins, si es, coins, si es contable. Ahí puedo decir a few pero coins. Si pudiera usar. Few es para todas las cosas que se puedan contar. Todos los que no sean contables ocupan little. Dollars. Few dollars, few coins, few cents. Todo lo que es contable, mm -hmm. sí. Solo lo no contable ocupamos little, para decir poco. Okay? Little money, little coins. time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Y luego, coins. yes, a few coins. Y luego con several options. ¿Cuál es el problema con esa expresión? Several options. ¿Qué oh. falta ahí? Options. Correct, Wendy. Thank you. Si hablo en plural, pronuncio la S, right? Several options. Yeah. All right. Other than that, thank you for the effort. It was really good, ladies. Muy bien. Let's go with room number two right now. We have Manuel Antonio and Tatiana Michelle, please. Okay. Hello, Tatiana. Hello, Manuel. Uh, excuse me, have you been waiting for a long time? Uh, well, I arrived a few minutes ago. All right, it's good for you, but for me it's too late. I think buses are running late. Oh, I'm sorry, Manuel, and there are many people waiting for the bus. Yes, I know. Besides that, it's, it's too hot here. That's the worst part. Yes, you're right, Manuel. No, nobody wants to be here. Okay. That's you. all. <laughs> Dry mute. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I noticed you incorporated some of the indefinite pronouns and you use them correctly. Y si se fijan, so, los ocupamos en conversación normal y ni nos damos cuenta muchas veces que lo estamos usando, right? It was very natural. So thank you, guys. Very good job. You use them correctly. Let's go with room number three right now. We have Ana Raquel and Diana Elizabeth. Okay. Hey, Diana. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, teacher. I just didn't have enough time to to give the screenshot. So, and I don't know if you can send me the the conversation we write. Um. Okay. Sorry. No worries. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. 
Hey, okay. Diana, I want to see a new T-shirt. Uh, which one do you recommend me? That depends on what kind of TV show do you like. Well, I really like dramas, but there are too many options on Netflix, and I can't decide. I have only seen a few of those, but I recommend you to watch The Eternal Monarch. Oh, others have recommended recommended to me. I'm going to watch it. Yes, everybody said that it, it is a good TV show. Yes, I will it. I will with it a chance. And now I have enough series to watch. De nuevo, you mute. <laughs> very good. Thank you, Anna and Diana. That was good. It was very natural. The conversation was flowing. And you use the um, indefinite pronouns correctly. Now, um, recommend. Estaba diciendo, querían decir, ¿qué sería me recomendas? Yes. Okay, what, which one do you recommend? Recommended, recommend. Okay. Y luego para contestar igual, I recommend this and that. Mm -hmm. Other than that, very good job. You use the indefinite pronouns correctly, ladies. Thank you. Let's go with room number four right now. We have Cristia, Juan de Dios, and Mario Villeda, please. Okay. Hello, guys. I'm thinking for travel to Costa Rica because everybody tell me it's a beautiful country, but I have few concerns with immigration process. Hi, Cristia. Many people like to travel to Costa Rica. For example, uh, three years ago, I went to this country for vacation and I visited Fran Luna restaurant in Jacobish. And I really like both places. Really? How many spend the travel? Because I want to visit that country too. The travel is expensive. Uh, I went with three fr friends and we share some payments. For example, the car and hotel. Everybody needs at least 1,000 to spend. We can say a few dollars if we, if we go together. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. go. <laughs> <laughs> that was very creative, very creative use, <laughs> very creative conversation. It was very natural. And also you incorporated indefinite pronouns, plurals and singulars. So very good, guys. <laughs> nice job. Thank you. Thank now you. we're going with room number five. We have Claudia and Maria, please. Okay. Hi, Maria. How was your day today? Hi, Claudia. My day was great. Some was invited a party. That is cool. That is so cool. Everyone is invited. Uh, each one has to something to the party. Can be anything like uh, several types of snacks. You can bring some anything. That's all. <laughs> okay. Now the only it was really good. It was fluent to the point, and it was a creative idea. Now just some la última expresión. You can bring some. ¿Y qué más dijo? Is uh, there are many things that you can bring. Ah, okay. There are many things that you can bring. Okay, that's correct. Yes. Creí que habían dicho you can bring some anything. Yes, no, no se puede. Pero sí, many things. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. That was nice. You used them correctly. Now we're going with room number six. We have Jorge Humberto and Olga Marlene. Okay. Hello, Olga. How are you? Hello, Jorge. Very good. How are you? Very good, too. Uh, I want to ask you, nobody told me about the Maria's party. Do you know something about that? 
Oh, yes. Actually, I went to the party that was fantastic. Really? I don't know why anybody invited me. I will have wanted to be there with all my friends. Sorry about that, Jorge. No one remembers in your invitation, but here I have a piece of cake for you. I hope you like it. Thanks a lot, Olga. Maybe in the next time somebody remember me. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Yeah. Really good, very <laughs> creative topic, very creative idea for the conversation. You were using definite pronouns correctly, both singular and plural, so very good job, Olga and Jorge. Thank you everyone who participated. Okay, so right now we're going to, well, I'm going to take attendance first, so please be ready to say here or present, okay? First we have Ana Raquel. Present. Thank you, Carlos Antonio. Carlos Antonio. Claudia Maria. Present. Thank you, Diana Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Jorge Humberto. Present. Thank you, Jose Jonathan. Jose Jonathan. Jose Rodrigo. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present. Thank you. Juan de Dios Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Linda Ibe. Never came to my class. <laughs> Manuel Antonio Palma. Present teacher. Thank you. María Concepción. Present. Thank you. María Elena. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you, Nelson Gabarrete. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you, Olga Marleni. Present teacher. Thank you, Silvia Suleima. Tatiana Michel. Present. Thank you. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Thank you. And Christian Natalie. Present teacher. Thank you. All right, now we're going to go. We're going to watch a video right now, okay? So remember, whenever we watch a video, we're looking, we're, it's not necessary, it's not a requirement that you must understand every single word they say in the video, no, okay? Just try to get one sentence, one idea that you can get, then that's more than enough, right? Now, everybody, I'm going to use everybody, is going to be telling me one sentence, okay? What do you think of the video? What you like, what you didn't like? Do you agree, do you disagree? What was the video about, okay? It can be anything. La idea es que al final del video todos me den de una o dos oraciones sobre el video. If you can give me more, that's perfect, right? But the minimum, two sentences about it, okay? There's absolutely no way you haven't heard. Are you seeing the video? Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Social media. There's absolutely no way you haven't heard of it yet. Over the last few years, social media has completely changed the internet. Actually, it has changed the whole world and also the world of marketing. So what are the reasons for your business to start utilizing these new forms of communication as soon as possible? These are the seven most important ones. Number one, showcase your brand. Social media offers another marketing channel for creating brand awareness relationship building or driving new sales so why not use it especially when it's free right number two develop a loyal community people enjoy being part of a business that is proactively building a lively community such an online community can help you establish an emotional connection between your company and your prospects which is essential for your long-term success number three improve customer service social media is a great feedback source Enabling your prospects to communicate with your company and each other can greatly improve your customer service and increase brand trustworthiness. Number four, increase digital exposure. Interacting in social networks can significantly increase your online presence. 
social media leads to massive exposure due to its worldwide access, sharing capabilities, and huge amount of daily users. Number five, boost traffic in search engine rating. Social media is a major lead generator, and it constantly brings high volume traffic to your website. They can also help with SEO, since search engines significantly reflect your social media content. Number six, expand sales and reach a new audience. Listening to your prospects on social networks can help you respond to their specific needs. This will most likely cause an increase in sales, but also expand your customer base. Number seven, cut marketing costs. Compared to traditional channels like print or advertising, social media marketing is affordable for any business. Remember that the channel itself is free. Managing social media, taking care of all the content, tweets, or feedback can get pretty time consuming, and you need to focus primarily on your business. So how about leaving the social stuff to us? No worries, we have plenty of experience to take complete responsibility of your social presence. So get in touch with us, we're ready to start today. Okay, do you feel like you need to watch it one more time to get a better idea of what you're going to talk about? Perfect, okay, bear with me. Because this one is short, we can rewatch it. Social media. There's absolutely no way you haven't heard of it yet. Over the last few years, social media has completely changed the internet. Actually, it has changed the whole world and also the world of marketing. So what are the reasons for your business to start utilizing these new forms of communication as soon as possible? These are the seven most important ones. Number one, showcase your brand. Social media offers another marketing channel for creating brand awareness, relationship building, or driving new sales. So why not use it, especially when it's free, right? Number two, develop a loyal community. People enjoy being part of a business that is proactively building a lively community. Such an online community can help you establish an emotional connection between your company and your prospects, which is essential for your long-term success. Number three, improve customer service. Social media is a great feedback source. Enabling your prospects to communicate with your company and each other can greatly improve your customer service and increase brand trustworthiness. Number four, increase digital exposure. Interacting in social networks can significantly increase your online presence. Social media leads to massive exposure due to its worldwide access, sharing capabilities, and huge amount of daily users. Number five, boost traffic in search engine rating. Social media is a major lead generator, and it constantly brings high volume traffic to your website. They can also help with SEO, since search engines significantly reflect your social media content. Number six, expand sales and reach a new audience. Listening to your prospects on social networks can help you respond to their specific needs. This will most likely cause an increase in sales, but also expand your customer base. Number seven, cut marketing costs. Compared to traditional channels like print or advertising, social media marketing is affordable for any business. Remember that the channel itself is free. Managing social media, taking care of all the content, tweets, or feedback can get pretty time consuming, and you need to focus primarily on your business. So how about leaving the social stuff to us? No worries, we have plenty of experience to take complete responsibility of your social presence. So get in touch with us, we're ready to start today. Right, so now we're able to talk about it. <laughs> Let me okay, there. So who wants to begin? Let me hear you guys before you forget the ideas. <laughs> Claudia Melendez, you go first, please. Okay. Um, social media has complete uh, change internet and the world. Uh, develop a uh, loyal community, establish establishing emotional connection, uh, improve customer service, uh, and those are the benefits. <laughs> expand, sales, expand sales and audience, uh, increasing sales, mm -hmm. and, and cut marketing costs because social media is free than traditional mm -hmm. channels. Very good, Claudia, you got a lot, even though this video was really fast, right? Very good, thank you. Please, yeah, please. Okay, uh, they mentioned that over the last year, social media completely changed the internet. 
and also is a perfect channel for have relationship buildings and social media can be a good way for a general profit. Very good, Chrissy. Those are important points also. Thank you. Diana, please. Oh, okay, teacher. For what I understand, it was an advertising to offer their marketing service. Um, they explain you how social media changed the world and the marketing. And they share with you some topics about how they do it. Um, explaining to you that something good about social media is that it's free and that you have the opportunity to connect uh, with the customers, also improve the customer service and through that expand and increase their uh, the sales. Very good, Diana. Well put, they are actually doing that. They are offering their services. Thank you, very good. Wendy, please. Okay, um, mass media dynamic, <laughs> cut, cut marketing costs, expand sales and audience, uh, bus traffic and throw the writing. Okay. It's for me, it's worse. Okay. <laughs> New, the writing, the writing, create, increase digital exposure, improve customer service, develop a loyal community and expand, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wendy, good points also, thank you. Manuel, please. Teacher, uh, yes? the video, uh, I, I hear uh, the people was talking uh, about the, the different apps into internet, uh -huh. but there is a a, a people quest uh, make question about uh, why not use them uh -huh. if these apps are are free. Exactly. But I consider I consider uh, there are many people in in this time uh, that they can they can use it mm -hmm. uh, for example uh, whatsapp is is uh, very common uh, social media app to communicate with with any people, other people but uh, actually not not all people uh, can can use it use it then mm -hmm. correctly or take advantage of it very good thank yes. you Manuel guys you I'm very proud of you guys most of you got a lot of information from a video that was actually very fast spoken so that yes. shows that you're improving Anna please and to take advantage uh, of social networks, uh, there are a few steps. Uh, first, uh, create ideas. Uh, second, uh, do strategies. Uh, third, uh, planning. And fourth, uh, management. Very good, Anna. Straight to the point, you got a very condensed idea. Very good, thank you. And that's how you start practicing your listening in these type of videos that are intermediate to advanced level. Jorge, please. Uh, in, the, in that video, they explain how the social media changed the internet. Besides, they explain how the social media uh, improved the, the businesses. The businesses in general also consider is free. And um, there are many advantages, advantages advantages using that platform. Correct. They have different several advantages. Okay. Very good. Thank you, everyone who participated. Here's what you're going to do right now. You're going to go to the breakout rooms and you're going to create a conversation. You're going to be in the same rooms with the same people. But in this conversation, 
one of you is going to be a customer, a client, and you are going to hire the other person or the other two people in the group to do marketing for you, for your company, okay, for your business. So the other ones are going to explain what is your strategy, what is your plan, what are you going to do to increase the sales of your customer, right? So it's going to be a conversation between customer and the marketing company, okay? You're going to explain to your customer what is the strategy, what are you going to do, what do you plan on doing? And the customer, of course, is going to say, okay, yes, I think this is a good idea or no, this is not going to work. For example, Wendy yesterday was saying her customers are old people, so they don't use uh, social media, right? So it's not going to be a good idea if we offer Facebook advertising for her company, right? So you're going to be interacting customers, clients, and the marketing company. You're going to give ideas to your customer of marketing, and they are going to tell you if it's if it will work or not and why, right? It has to be an interaction. Um, as again, I'm gonna give you 10 minutes to begin with, and then we will come back and check if you need more time. All right. So the rooms are open right now. You can enter. And you will have 10 minutes to start working.
Teacher, just I have a question because I a little bit confused about the activity. Okay. Uh, one one person it have to be the the customer and the other person is the marketing has, company. Is the marketing ah okay company. <laughs> Ah, okay. Yeah, one of you is the marketing company representative and the other one is the customer. It's like a exposure, uh, digital exposure. Yeah, exactly. You're explaining um, the digital marketing agent or representative is going to offer the marketing services for the customer. Okay. You're going to give ideas and the customer says, ah, this is good, this is not good. And you say, no, well, I, I have. I have a difficult to understand you, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly, like Thank that. <laughs> Perfect, I will see you guys in a, few, in a few moments, okay? Okay.
Okay, we're all back. Let me just check if you were able to complete your conversation or we'll give you a few more minutes. A few more minutes, please. All right, the rooms are open, guys. You can go back right now. You have five minutes. Everyone, you can go back to the rooms. Pueden regresar, tienen cinco minutos más para completar la actividad.
Okay, now that we're all back to the main session, we're going to begin. Let's start room number one. Norma Carolina, Silvia Suleima, Wendy Maribel, please, we hear you. Hi, I want a question. What is the best social media for advertising to my product? What is the product you want to distribute and what is your target market, Silvia? My business is so food work. If you need to distribute at older people, you use Facebook and WhatsApp. If you if your target market is young, you need Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. It is a tool that has many advantages and is free. Okay, we will start with these options and create the advertising necessary for my business. Thank you for helping me. Welcome. Good, it was express. <laughs> it was really short, but it was really accurate. You were straight to the point. You used some of the information that we were requesting, target market, the different options that you were using for each of them. So very good ladies. That was a good conversation that you created. Thank you. We're going to hear room number two right now. Um, that would be Juan Carlos. Oh, no, he was hearing. It will be Manuel and Tatiana, please. Okay. Uh, hello. I'm looking for marketing media uh, about my company. I'm worried in the classic channels uh, to advertising. I need uh, some data. I need to improve my brand and, and sales. Uh, my company is about food. I have three restaurants, no matter the prices. Uh, I need something uh, fresh and I need people can watching and purchase. Uh, what is your offer? Oh, hello, Manuel. My name is Satiana and I'm going to help you. Uh, let me offer a good price. And if you want to increase your sales, this is the right place. Let me explain about our social media packages. Uh, we have uh, advertising on Facebook three times per day. And we have the reach, uh, a big reach is around 2,000 people per day. And, and we have a WhatsApp business too. And you can you can uh, have your, your orders by WhatsApp. And this is going to help you because you are going to uh, manage every, every about your company. And the, and the price is one, uh, $100 monthly, and we can start uh, as soon as possible, Manuel. Okay, uh, I like it. It's a good option for me. Uh, when we when we can uh, start with the service? It can be right now. Let me bring you the documents. Thank okay, you. thank you. <laughs> Guys, thank you. that was really good. That was a very fluent conversation. You were speaking for three minutes, right? In this level, you guys had to start creating longer conversations. Lo que les decía al inicio de la clase ahora. A este nivel ya no tienen que estar creando oraciones de menos de un minuto, right? De ustedes tienen que ir fijándose tres, cuatro minutos hacia arriba. Thank you, Henry Ramas English, right? And you guys did it. It's a very good job. <laughs> it was excellent. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Let's go with room number three. We have Anna Raquel and I believe Diana Elizabeth. Um, okay. Hi, Anna. So long time without seeing you. How is your job going? Hello, I am working in a new advertising campaign for your products. Wow, tell me more about that. I want something different to attract more customers. Yes, that's, that's the idea. The company can create a profile in new social media as TikTok, Instagram, that right now didn't have it. 
uh, that sound really great. And I will, I will like to that you hire some influencers uh, for sharing the products and target uh, a market of teenagers. Okay, we are going to do it. Uh, I will send you the budget the next week and I will interview some teenagers influencers. Okay, that sounds perfect. That's it. Very good, ladies. <laughs> Your conversation okay. was a minute and a half, but it was actually, it was a lot of information in a few minutes. So you were very fluent. So that's really important. I didn't see any pronunciation issues. Grammar was correct. So very good job, ladies. You deliver a very good uh, conversation. So thank you. Now we're going with room number four. We're going to hear Cristian, Natalie, Juan de Dios, and Mario Villeda. Okay. Uh, hello. I want to invest in my social media marketing. Could you help me about that, please? Hello. Okay. It's a pleasure to me explain to you why advertising on social media. Advertising on social media offers several major benefits. It's more about awareness, increased traffic, and offers insight into your current potential customer. Let me transfer the call to my supervisor. Oh, okay. And this benefit social media advertising is cost effective? Hello. Let me explain more about benefits and costs. Creating a social media account in many context marketing sports are entirely free. Pay options like are, are lower costs than traditional advertising methods. Um, for example, the cost per thousand CPM, or in other words, the cost per 1,000 advertising impression in social media is just two dollars compared to 15 for a newspaper or 15 through television. Please determine how much you should spend on your social media marketing. Efforts depend on several factors, including how large your business is. Oh, perfect, Juan. Thank you. I will think about this. Okay. And that's all this. Very good. Thank, Thank you. You. <laughs> you spoke for In three Mario. minutes. <laughs> Thank you, everyone who participated. Um, very good job. It was a fluent conversation. The only the only pronunciation is not determined, is determine. Determinar is determine. Okay. Other than that, fluent conversation, good intonation. It flowed, right? Si hubieran, um, si a estas alturas ustedes estuvieran teniendo espacios de tiempo sin hablar, porque no saben qué decir, sí me preocuparía, pero ningún grupo ha hecho eso, así que indica que todos van avanzando casi que al mismo paso. So very good job, room number four. Very, very good conversation. Thank you. And now we're going with room number five. We have Claudia Melendez and Maria Concepcion, please. Okay. Good morning, Claudia. Could you give me some information about your service? Oh, sure, Maria. My services are building, expanding, and managing online communities. How many years do you have of experience? I have five years managing several brands like Clinique, Vuela, L'Oreal, etc. How will your service improve my business? Uh, the benefits are better customer experience and the That's second decreased customer support costs because you will see a deflection of customer support phone calls as community members exchange information and answer each other's questions. And the last one, more accurate product information because with the community providing checks and balance of our content, your product information is more current, accurate and trusted. That's great. With your help in the insurance company, my company with Glorf Mode. Right. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. Aquí en, aquí en mute ya de nuevo. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, I knew you were finished. I just didn't hit uh, on mute. <laughs> yes, very good job, Claudia and Maria. You guys used a lot of vocabulary related to marketing that was really specific and you pronounced it correctly. <laughs> also, you were very, very, um, the conversation was flowing, right? Which is a very important part. And I didn't hear any grammar mistakes or mispronunciation. So excellent job, ladies. Thank you. And now we're going to go with uh, room number six. We have Jorge Humberto and Olga Marlene, please. Okay. Hello, Olga. How are you? Pretty good. Thanks. What about you, Jorge? Fine, thanks. I want to know how to start an online business and if you can be in my consultant. Yes, it's a pleasure. If you want, we can talk on weekend in my house. Terrific. Could you please explain me what is your marketing plan to start the business? Oh, yes. I have clients around the world, and all they are very satisfied with my service. I think that you love it. Perfect. But I have to tell you, that I don't know about the social media and the use of web platforms. My marketing plan is based in how to get clients or target audience to the use of web platform. But don't worry, Jorge, you will learn. Okay, thank you. That's it, teacher. All right, very good, thank you. Guys, you spoke for a little bit of less than two minutes, but again, it was expected because the topic, it's not that we can speak a lot, right? So very good job, guys. You use correct pronunciation, vocabulary was involved. I didn't hear any grammar mistakes, that's important. And also you sounded very familiar, very, very comfortable when speaking. So very good job, everyone. I want you, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but if you compare how you were speaking at the beginning of the module and how you're speaking now, all of you are showing more confidence when you are talking in English. So that is that in itself, it's an improvement. So really nice work for all of you. Now we're gonna go to the text, um, to the student's manual again. Let me share it with you guys. Okay, so we're gonna go to page 33 in the student's manual, okay? On page 33, where we have the topic, trends in e-commerce, okay? So we have the first two conversation questions. First one says, how important, how important is it for businesses to have an app that allows online purchases? And the second question, are smartphones the future of online commerce? Okay, the first question, an app that allows online purchases, right? Um, this is not the same as going to the web page, right? You can go, for example, you can go to Amazon on the internet from your cell phone. You type amazon.com and you can go into the web page. But Amazon also has the app that you can download into your phone and you can shop from the app instead of going to the web page, right? So, in your opinion, guys, how important is it for businesses to have an app that can be downloaded to, to online purchase? And the second one are smartphones, the future of online commerce. I'm going to give you five minutes to write down your answers, and then you can share it with me. Este es individual. Aquí lo van a hacer acá en la sesión. Son cinco minutos que tienen para escribir sus respuestas, su opinión de esas dos preguntas. Okay? You have five minutes.
Okay, five minutes have passed. If you have the answer to only one of the questions, that's good, we can hear you. If you have finished, let me hear your answer, please. Jorge, please. Go ahead. Uh, in the number one, uh, I consider it's, it's very important for, for business to have an app uh, mm -hmm. because most of the time people can access, can, can have an access a computer instead of is, is easier in the cell phone because you most of the time you have the cell phone in your pocket. Correct. Yes, that is really important that I agree with that. Who else? Let me hear um, your other answers. Thank you, Jorge, for sharing. Let's hear, we want to hear at least two more people. What do you think? Is it important for businesses to have an app that allows online purchases? Manuel, please. Yes, teacher. Uh... For the question number one, uh, I consider uh, is is very important uh, that companies have their own app because mm -hmm. uh, the users or the or the uh, consumers uh, don't don't need to search in a web page. All right. Uh, just uh, download the app and go straight to the, the target. Besides, uh, you, you save money and, and time to, to search. <laughs> yes, that is correct, Manuel. They don't have to go to the web page. They don't have if they have internet or not, right? We have the yes. app in your phone. You can go straight from there. Very yes. good. Good points of view. Thank you, Jorge. Thank you, Manuel. Very good job. Thank you. All right, we're gonna stop here and we're gonna take attendance. So please be ready, okay? Um, today we have Wednesday the 5th. Oh, also, I'm gonna say this in Spanish. Me pidieron que les recordara um, a sus empresas que empiecen a enviar la documentación, la copia de planilla y los demás documentos para que pueda iniciarse el siguiente módulo lo más pronto posible para que no pase mucho tiempo, ¿de acuerdo? Y lo que les decía, para que salgamos cabal los primeros días de diciembre, no llegar el 20 de diciembre todavía en clase. <laughs> All right. So please tell your companies to accelerate the process, please. Vamos a iniciar entonces. Tenemos a Ana Raquel Villalta. Present. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Escobar. Present. Thank you. Claudia María Meléndez. Present teacher. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you, Jorge Humberto. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose Jonathan. Jose Rodrigo. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present. Thank you. Um, Juan de Dios Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Linda Ivette. Manuel Antonio. Present. Thank you, María Concepción. Present. Thank you, María Elena. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelson Gavarrete. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Olga Marleni. Present. Thank you. Silvia Suleima. Present. Thank you. Tatiana Michel. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Thank you. And Christian Natalie. Present teacher. Thank you. All right, guys, that's going to be it for tonight. Uh, go to sleep, recharge batteries, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. See you. Good night. Have a good night. Take care. Good night. Blessings.